So when you're on Amazon.com and you search in any search term, there's a 90% chance that you're going to buy from somebody who's on the very first page. And so Amazon is basically forcing you to buy from someone who they have chosen. So how do you get chosen or ranked by Amazon? Well, it comes down to Amazon's algorithm. They have an A10 algorithm, which is their most updated algorithm that they currently run right now. That's going to base your product's ranking off of a few things. And so having a good or optimized Amazon product launch basically means that you put a product out there, you have launched it correctly, and ultimately Amazon's algorithm has picked it up and has moved up in the ranks. So when it comes to actually getting boosted in Amazon's algorithm, it only comes down to two very simple things. Now, the very first one is increasing your clicks and having an amazing click-through rate on Amazon's search page. What do I mean by this? Well, it's actually quite simple. Whenever a potential customer goes on Amazon, puts in a specific search, scrolls down, finds your product, and clicks on it, that increases your click-through rate. The more people who click on your product, the higher and higher your picture rate goes, and the more and more you cover the very first thing in determining whether or not your product is boosted in Amazon's algorithm. And so once again, there are two main factors when it comes to Amazon boosting your product and its algorithm. Click-through rate is the very first one and I have a detailed video covering this topic, but to sum that video up and to increase your click-through rate, you need to have a great product picture, a great price for your product so that customers actually click on your product, an enticing product title, and a good review rating. Now, the more reviews you have, the better. Now, the second thing that allows your product to be boosted in Amazon's algorithm is getting an amazing conversion rate. Increasing your conversion rate basically means the more customers who click on your product and actually buy it after seeing your listing and being convinced that your product is for them, the more conversions you get, the higher and higher your product goes in Amazon's algorithm. So when you can increase the amount of clicks and increase the amount of conversions or buys for your product, Amazon will push your product higher and higher in its algorithm. Now let's go over some of the different launch strategies that you can use so that when you launch your product, you come out the gate making sales. Now with these strategies, make sure that you do not use them all at once. Simply focus on one to two strategies and have them ready so that when you launch your product, you employ the strategies right away and you get sales coming out of the gate. Now, the very first thing that is a no-brainer once your product is live, you need to be running PPC. Now, PPC is pay-per-click, where basically you pay, put your product in front of other keywords that people may be searching for, for similar products like yours. Now, I highly recommend that you run manual PPC campaigns for keywords that are hyper-relevant to your product. For example, inside Seller Central, I would make a manual campaign. If I'm selling this red pen, I would not be targeting gray pens. I would be targeting red pens or red soft gel pens or red writing pens, whatever they are, I'm gonna be targeting keywords that are hyper relevant to my product. Once again, if you're selling this stripe pen, you're not gonna be targeting gray pens. You're gonna be targeting gold, white, gold, what, it's probably not very much search for this, but once again, it's gonna be product specific and you need to be targeting the hyper relevant keywords for your specific product in a manual campaign. Now, yes, you can also do an automatic campaign, but I highly recommend that you go to the manual campaign as well, and you target specific keywords that have decent searches that are super relevant to your product and that you know you're going to convert customers for. You don't want to be running PPC for a bunch of generic random terms because once again, it can only hurt you. You're spending more and more money, you're making less ROI, you're making less margins for your product, and ultimately you're just wasting money. So you need to be targeting specific keywords that are using Helium 10's Cerebro to find these keywords or Helium 10's Magnet, and you're targeting these specific keywords that you have already planned out before you even launch your product. And so once you launch, you're out the gate and you're targeting specific keywords that are going to be specific to your product. Now, this next strategy is going to give you a dramatic jump in the algorithm early on if you use it correctly. So it involves using friends and family to do the search find buy method. Now, what exactly does that mean? This involves you contacting five to 10 close friends and family who you can contact either in person or over the phone, preferably not through text or through Instagram or Facebook because this may or may not be tracked. I'm not too sure about that. But basically, where they're going to search in your product, your specific keyword that you're actually trying to rank for through PPC as well, they're gonna search in that specific keyword, look for your product, searching it, they're finding it and they're buying it. Now, this is the number one thing that Amazon's algorithm likes. And if you can get a couple of sales through this, then you're going to be boosting Amazon's algorithm. The next step with this is that once they actually search your product, find it and buy it, they're going to wait a couple of days, a week, 
and then they're going to leave an honest review. Now, whether they give you five stars or not, it's up to you and what you tell them, but essentially you want them to be leaving a review for your product because this is going to be an early review, early on the process, which is going to really help your product be boosting Amazon's algorithm. You're getting a high click-through rate, you're getting a high conversion rate by them buying, and you're getting high reviews, which are the three metrics that Amazon loves in order to boost your product in their algorithm. Now, the next powerful technique that you can use to get external traffic to your listing is to actually target Facebook groups. Now, I don't see a lot of people using this, but it is very, very powerful if you use it correctly. So let's say that we're selling doggy treats. If we're selling doggy treats, what we can do is go to facebook.com, search for all the doggy groups, and basically have our product in front of these doggy people who, once again, are our intended customers who are highly likely to buy and who have dogs who would use our product. That's very important. And so there's a right way and there's a wrong way to do it. The wrong way to do this would be to go to these Facebook groups and just basically be super spammy with your product, with your product links, all of that. The right way to do it would be to actually go to these Facebook groups to offer value, chat with people one-on-one, -on -one, and then actually offer your specific product to these people, taking a long-term approach with these groups being consistent. And overall, you'll see more success that way. Build relationships with people in these groups and get more and more external leads and external traffic to your listing through Facebook groups. The next thing that you can do that's similar to Facebook groups is to run Facebook ads. Now, this is going to be very similar because once again, you have your specific target audience. And so you're identifying who your target customer is, what age range, there's a bunch of filters that you can put into Facebook ads to basically come up with your specific customer avatar and figure out exactly who they are, where they live, what income they have, all that stuff. You put it into Facebook and so you can run ads for people who are going to be highly likely to convert. Now, this will not work for all products. If you're selling a pen, you know, it's, it's only so far you can get with running Facebook ads and a lot of ad spend is going to be spent toward people who can go to the store and buy pens or people who can order pens off, you know, it's, it's just not going to be as highly converting as a more unique product that's very specific. Now, this won't work for all products, but once again, if you have a highly desirable product and you have a decent product and Facebook ads, I would highly recommend that you test that out. Now, another powerful technique is to target influencers, social media influencers specifically off of YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Now, there's a right way and a wrong way to do this as well. The wrong way is to target people who have millions and millions and hundreds of thousands of subscribers who are going to be charging a lot of money. You want to target micro influencers. So we're targeting micro influencers, people who have anywhere from five to 20,000, maybe even 50,000 followers, subscribers who are going to have a specific audience that's going to be willing to buy your product. Now, once again, for example's sake, if we're selling a doggy product on YouTube, we want to search in doggy reviewers or doggy whatever and find people, do our due diligence, spend an hour, you know, finding all the potential people who are willing to review our product. Now you can choose how you can do this, either give the product for free or you pay them a hundred bucks or whatever it is but the smaller they are the less likely they're going to actually charge you and so if you're targeting you know someone who has five thousand or a couple thousand subscribers or followers on instagram tiktok or youtube then they may or may not charge you for the product for free or they may charge you but once again it's going to be an investment well spent because you're going to get all their loyal followers and your targeted niche for your product and you're going to get in front of all of them and this is extremely powerful because you can get in front of thousands of potential customers and get a lot of sales out the gate now, the next strategy is to buy your product yourself. And it's something that I have done, whether I was selling eBooks or physical products, I have always purchased my product myself. Now this happens over every single day you purchase at least one unit of your product. So it's always better to get a sale versus not getting a sale. Even if you're buying it yourself, it doesn't matter. It's still going to help boost your rank in the algorithm along with getting external sales from all the other sources we have talked about. Now the next thing that you can do is email outreach and creating an email list. Now, I'm going to go over each of these individually. So the email outreach method is where you're actually reaching out via email or in person to people who are actually going to be willing to buy your product. For example, let's say that we sell an office product. You basically go on Google and figure out all the different offices, all the different office spaces near you, email them, and specifically get people who may be interested in purchasing your actual office supplies. Now, this takes more effort, but the more and more people you reach out to, the more and more potential people who are going to be willing to respond back. The higher and higher the chances of someone actually reaching back to you and actually ordering a bulk order from you. Now, it's not work for all products. But once again, it doesn't hurt to try. For example, if you sell a school product, you can reach out to all the schools nearby. Or if you sell a gym product, let's reach out to all the different gyms. It doesn't hurt to send an email. And once again, if you don't ask, 
then don't expect it. Now, another thing that you can do is to create an actual email list. Now this involves you having a product insert in your actual product itself. That's going to incentivize people to give you their email, not through leaving a positive review, but for some other reason, maybe you give them a coupon code or whatever it is, 5% off the next order, but you incentivize them to leave your email with you so that once you have future product launches, this is where this becomes very, very essential. If you have future product launches and you launch a very similar product, you have a dedicated email list with hundreds to potentially thousands of emails that you can choose from. And as soon as you launch that product, you just mass produce an email, send it out to all these people, and then you can sell out very, very quickly because you already have people who have purchased from you in the past who are going to be warm clients who once again can easily purchase from you again. Now, if you utilize email lists correctly, it can have a very, very big impact on the amount of sales you can get. And if you don't want to fall down the path of only getting clicks, but no one ever converts and buys your product, then make sure you check the video out right here where I go into in-depth listing optimization right now.